Hey everybody, this is Scarecrow with Buffalo Rumblings testing out a new weekly feature to be a companion piece to my usual All-22 analysis. As you probably already noticed, this is going to be narrated and video based. Maybe catered to a slightly different audience, but pretty similar to what you've seen from me before. If you're one of the few people who happened to swing by my YouTube channel in the last week, thank you first of all, and second, you may have seen that I ran a pilot for this based off of the week one game. This is our first week going live, and for this week, we're going to focus on a singular topic, which will be Sam Martin. And uh, Sam Martin was a player we were all hoping to keep under the radar. So great job holding during week one and the first couple of quarters for week two. But we had to actually bring him in action for uh, his punting role in quarter three for week two here against the Titans. And this is where it all began. We have third down, one yard to go, right past midfield. Josh Allen is going to get the ball. He's going to drop back. And one of the few times for the night, ball's hitting the turf. I can tell you after being at the game, this was a scenario where everybody in the crowd pretty much expected and really wanted Sean McDermott to go for it. You're putting your foot on the throat of the Titans, trying to run up the score. Uh, it was really something I think we all wanted. And just that extra yard we were hoping to get. But it's hard to blame him. You're at midfield. You know, go for the punt. Bring Sam Martin. I'll get a little bit of practice, I guess. But yeah, we are kind of dreading this moment. Our no punt streak ended right around the middle of the third quarter. So let's take a look while we're at it. Great snap by Reed Ferguson. Pretty much standard at this point. Now it's hard to see on any of the camera angles, but one of the things that was very good about this punt uh, and the obvious result, I'm sure we all recall, was the ball was going end over end, which does increase the difficulty of making the catch. But I also want to take a look at our returner here. He doesn't do himself a lot of favors. This is a really nice power slide, which, you know, hey, if he's opening for Megadeth or something, absolutely would fit in perfectly. When you're trying to catch a ball, not so much. So he's already falling. You can see the body twisting. He took a bad approach to this, and that's certainly going to be a factor when we take a look at the replay here. Now, of course, I'm not going to skip the best part. Bill's recovery. Micah Hyde knows it. Our ball can't even lose when we're punting. If you could have scripted that night any better, I'd like to see it. So let's take a closer look at the returner. Looks like it pops off the shoulder pad. And again, lack of concentration. He's just starting that power slide. Bad luck for him, great luck for us. All right, so that first punt was credited officially as 38 yards. Not too bad. And of course, the result was very good. Buffalo Bills scored again right after that. This next one, obviously, I think uh, we're all in agreement that this is the right call. Sam Martin is the middle of the L here, middle of the end zone which of course means we're buried so far back, there's really no sense in, in trying to maintain this drive. And even with several steps forward, look where Martin finishes. He's not even to the blue in the end zone. He's still basically a yard deep. This one was officially credited as 57 yards, which is not a bad punt, even if it wasn't mucked. All the way to the 36. So I know one of the things Bills fans were looking at this offseason was to get a punter who could reliably flip the field. Sam Martin very well may be that guy, even when he's not creating turnovers. But let's take a look at this one and see exactly what happened. So in this case, we don't have the power slide. Returner's ready. The body's a little bit further forward. Yeah, I would like this angle suggesting the person may be a little bit off balance as he's trying to make this catch. But really the damning piece of evidence is in this frame. If you take a look here, I'm not sure how many coaches are going to ask you to try to catch with your wrists. So again, we have a concentration lapse here from what I can tell. And it slips right through the forearms. Now from where I was sitting at the stadium, this absolutely looked like another Buffalo Bills recovery. You can see on the sideline, we're starting to get some early celebrations for this one as well. But we're going to go to our hockey terms, and there it is. Ball goes through the five hole, which allows the Titans to make the recovery. 
Still, though, I don't think you could be anywhere near as happy as Stan Martin after his second muffed punt of the season, which also was his second punt of the season. So two for two on muffed punts. If you could have a better night than that, man, again, I don't know how you could even script this. What a crazy night. Now, if you're wondering exactly where my seats were, we're now in the fourth quarter, so we're facing the other direction. So I'm probably up in this area. So if you can make me out in those pixels, maybe you'll get to know what I look like. So for Sam Martin's third part of the night, this one's credited as 50 yards. And what's nice about this one is we're going to see an, a familiar face here. So for this one, the punt returner is Robert Woods, former Buffalo Bill. I don't know if I'll go so far as call him former legendary Buffalo Bill, but definitely fan favorite Buffalo Bill. And one of the things I think we all appreciated about Robert Woods was his reliability. And the fact that he's back there, I think, speaks volumes from the first two punts. We do have concentration lapses from what both of those look like. So Robert Woods with his sure hands is, is kind of the Micah Hyde we're used to uh, when we're not sure. So Micah Hyde does the same thing for us. Not expected to make a big return. He just, you know, intended not to fumble the ball and give it back. One of the things I like about this punt, you can see it right from the beginning. The camera angle's chasing it all the way to the right sideline. And take a look at Robert Woods' tra trajectory. He's making the catch. Even if he wanted to return this, his momentum's taking him to the sideline. Now, this will do it for our first episode of whatever we're going to call this. If you have any suggestions on, on what we might want to name this or what might be a good idea, feel free to drop them in the comments on YouTube, the Buffalo Rumblings article, or wherever you happen to find this. I'm certainly open to suggestions. Feel free to give me feedback on those same places as well. And I don't know if we have a better way to wrap up this first segment than what we're going to see right here. Everybody knows it's over. Casual drop of the ball. We're back to our first slide. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you again next week.